What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off the last Sinnoh starter in competitive battles, which is Empoleon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do I have to yell at you or something? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Join the community. Shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. But more importantly guys happy holidays hopefully you guys are staying safe hopefully you guys are enjoying your time off enjoying your holiday as a whole and for the people who are not celebrating these holidays shout out to you guys as well hopefully you guys are enjoying your day so of course we're celebrating holidays we have the santa hat right here trying to get some wins with it hopefully it can bring us some holiday luck but getting started with this team right here we got the one only empoleon absolutely love this pokemon this pokemon is so versatile it could be a physical attacker it could be a special attacker but for this setup we got special attacking on him we got the shukaberry as an item so you know we don't get one tap with an eq it's nature's gonna be modest to give it that special attack boost evs on this pokemon is going to be special attacking and speed because you know we just want this pokemon out speeding and doing some big damage and then we got torrent ability with a move set of ice beam protect hydro pump and flash cannon absolutely love this pokemon we chose to go special attacking on him because his special attack is naturally higher than his physical attack but there's one thing about this pokemon that can make him become a physical attacker and that is the defiant ability this thing does learn defiant that's only if you want to go for a physical attacking set i said nah i want to go special attacking so this is what we ended up doing Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Latios, and this Pokemon is super, super strong. One of the best in this format. It's got Psychic, it's got Tailwind for Speed Control, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and then Protect for its final move. EVs are special attack and speed. This thing has great special attack stat and great speed stat, so it can just outspeed everything and just do a lot of damage. Levitate as its ability. Nature's going to be timid to give it another speed boost, and then obviously this item is the life form gotta give this thing the life orb it hits too hard not to give it the life orb so we can set up tailwind with this thing or we can just do massive amount of damage with it it just works well in all different situations third pokemon on the team is going to be heracross and when i was making this team i was like yo i want to use some fun pokemon i want to use pokemon that people aren't really using and heracross popped right into mind cannot wait to showcase this pokemon off this thing is absolutely amazing we gave it the flame orb because obviously it has that guts as its ability its nature is going to be jolly to give it a little bit of speed boost and then the nature or not nature the ev spread is going to be attack and speed gotta give it attack and speed this thing's here to hit hard it's here to outspeed and just do work all around like i said guts ability so when we get that burn we get a 1.5 times multiplier on our damage it's gonna be amazing just, just wait till you see guts here across thing hits like a truck move set for this thing is going to be protect facade which is double damage under burn mega horn and close combat for big stab damage moves this thing is gonna hit like a truck i'm telling you guys just wait on it just wait on it Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be a support mom, which is going to be this Intimidate Arcanine. You guys probably seen this move set on my channel multiple, multiple times because I absolutely love it. It's Flamethrower, it has Snarl for special attack drops, Will of Wisp to burn physical attackers and protect for our final move. EVs on this thing is going to be fully invested into HP and then split between special defense and speed. Im intimidate as its ability, obviously, and then we got the Timid Nature alongside with the Aguav Berry for this thing's item. Another support mod for this team is going to be Togekiss. I pop a berry over here with that Timid Nature. EVs are going to be HP and Speed with Serene Grace, so we get flinches more with our Air Slash. And then move set finally is going to be Air Slash. You want to put Pokemon to sleep, follow me to protect the ally Pokemon, and protect to protect this Togekiss. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mamoswine. And this Pokemon is great in pretty much all situations. It is really good because it has Ice Shard for first turn priority. It has Icicle Crash and EQ for big stab damage. And then finally, it has Protect for its last move. Its EVs are sitting here with attack and speed with the Oblivious ability. And Oblivious is super, super good because it can't be faked out or it can't be intimidate, which are two very, very uh, big things in the meta for double battle. So having Oblivious just as an ability by itself is just huge. Nature for this thing is going to be Jolly, give it a bit of a speed boost, and then finally, this thing's item is going to be Focus Sash, so we cannot be one-tapped. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, we got that Poke Pace down in the description below. All the stats, all the moves, all the EVs down there. Definitely go check it out. But without further ado, let's hop into some double battles, look to get some wins with this Empoleon team. Hopping into battle number one, and I forgot to mention this in the team preview, the one thing that this team kind of struggles up against is Trick Room teams. And of course, our opponent has a Trick Room team here in battle number one. Hopefully, we can work around it and grab ourselves a win here in our first battle. But how should we go into this one? How should I play it? I kind of want to lead Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine could be good. He might lead that Dust Noir, which could be a little tough for us, but we'll see how this one plays out. Could go Latios. Latios isn't too bad, but I definitely want to bring Empoleon somewhere in this battle. Somewhere in this battle, I definitely want him. So I'm going to actually lead Arcanine alongside with, uh, I could go Latios, or I could go Heracross. I could definitely go Heracross, but I think Latios might be your play. 
he do some big damage. He's just really good all around with that life. So I really do like that Pokemon. So let's go Latios. Let's go Arcanine. Get some attack drops all around. Definitely want Empoleon in the back end. And then final Pokemon. I'm thinking Mamoswine might come in here. Mamoswine could be good up against a lot of these Pokemon. A lot of these Pokemon. So I am going to actually end up bringing Mamoswine. And we're going to rock out with that one. And lock it in for our final spot. But yo. I'm loving this Santa hat. I'm loving the Santa hat. Like I said in the beginning of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe today. Hopefully all you guys holidays are going great. And if you guys want to catch extra content from your boy Jeans, make sure you head down to the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is right on the face cam. Well, not on the face cam. It's right on the layout. And there's a link down in the description below. We stream like five days every single week. Definitely come hang out. Say what's up. And uh, check, check out the streams. They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. But he's going to lead these two. And I might just... Do we think he's going to protect the Tangrowth? I might just double down into you i might just double down into that dust and water because he i can see him protecting that uh i can see him protecting that tangrowth right that's definitely an option so i might just psychic yeah i'm just gonna psychic onto dust and war and double down into it with a snarl let's see what he does he does not he does not protect the tangrowth so tangrowth staying in here we're gonna get some big damage off on dust and war that's some big damage like i said yo latios does some big damage all around we already have speed, so Tailwind's not an option, and he might set up a Tailwind, which is kind of scary. Or not a Tailwind. He might set up a Trick Room, which is kind of scary, but I think we could be fine with this. It really depends on if that thing's a physical attack or not. If it is, it's already Intimidate 1. He's going to go for a Sleep Powder, and that's awesome. That Buttery Biscuit, yo. Put me to sleep, dude. Things put me to sleep. How dare he? How dare he? And then Trick Room's popping. Yep, Trick Room is out and about. Okay, so we're sitting in this position right here. I think we're kind of fine. I mean, I could just throw a Flamethrower onto that thing, or I could burn it. I might burn it. Might burn Tangrowth. I feel like it's a physical attacker, right? I think uh, Dustin War is a physical attacker too, which is kind of scary. Just kind of scary. He's probably rocking Pain Split, so it could get some HP back. So I'm just gonna start throwing burns on these Pokemon. I'm just gonna start throwing burns on these Pokemon, and then obviously, uh, I guess we'll go for uh, or Psychic here. We are gonna be asleep this turn, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna swap the Tangrowth? A lot of options for him here. He's gonna go for another Sleep Powder. Oh my. This guy says, oh, here, hey, go to bed, go to sleep. No, I'm going to beat you. I'm letting you know that. I'm letting you know that I'm beating you here. I'm just letting this dude know that I'm beating him here. He's going to drop an Ice Punch, which we are able to soak up. Thank you, Intimidate. We are still asleep. Well, my Arcanine is now asleep. And my Latios is asleep. Very fun. This game is a lot of fun. This game is a lot of fun. So we're sitting in an awful position here. <laughs> an awful position. But hopefully Latios can wake up, because if he can, we can get rid of that, uh, that Dust and War. And we kind of get thriving out here. We can kind of get thriving out here. I'm hoping he wakes up. And, you know, I'm just going to go for a flamethrower over onto this thing if we can. Wait, what's going on? Oh, oh I hit protect. I hit protect. It's all good. We're going to go for the flamethrower and then going for that second. Latios, I need you to wake up here. I need I need somebody to wake up. I need somebody to wake up. Hopefully, both of them will wake up. But, yo, sleep powder, it's so tough. Sleep is so tough to play up against. Especially Trick Room. Especially Trick Room sleep. He's going to go for Shadow Sneak, which we are able to soak up all day. And I wonder what he's going for here. He's going to go for a knockoff, and that's going to kill him. That is 100% going to KO me. Latios goes down for the count. Tough news. Tough news. But yeah, we got some good Pokemon in the back end. I'm ready. I'm ready to get after this. Arcanine does wake up. That's lovely. And Flamethrower is going to poke. Flamethrower pokes through. And how much damage are we doing on this thing? Oh my god. We almost take out. Give me the burn. Yes, yo. Let's go. KO this thing. Yes, leftovers. No. <laughs> I wish burn would have came out first. Okay, so we're sitting here. He is going to be able to survive. But that's some. That's a big burn. That's a big burn for him. I neglects a lot of that leftovers damage. He collects a lot of that leftovers damage. And at this point, what do we go for? At this point, what do we go for? Because he definitely... Oh, we could out... Yes, yo. Yes, we want this. We 100% want Mamoswine. We'll save our Empoleon for the back end. Luckily, we have this Mamoswine. We have a first turn priority move. So we can just get rid of this... Uh, this... What's it called right here? I could put a burn on him. But I think Flamethrower is going to do a nice chunk of damage here. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to Ice Shard. I'm just going to Ice Shard. We got first turn priority. This Tangrowth cannot touch us with a Sleep Powder because we're taking this thing out. We are taking this thing out. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games, yo. Ice Shard, Poker 3. Get on out of here. Yo, I love that thing's name. OG Kush. <laughs> People come up with the funniest names in this game. I swear. I swear, yo. Thunder Punch is going to come through here, and that's fine. That's fine. Arcanine is going to be able to soak. This thing's intimidate already. And Flamethrower is going to poke through and probably not KO, but bring it pretty close, too. Yeah, see. Brings it down the red. We can go for another flamethrower and KO. Or I could just snarl. A snarl will be able to do enough damage on Dustin Water to take it out. So I'm kind of hoping he throws out a special attacker. So we can do just that. But I think he has one more turn left in Trick Room. That's going to be a physical attacker. Bonehead's looking a little scary. Bonehead's looking a little scary. I ain't going to lie. 
I could probably Ice Shard and KO that thing. So I could protect, thinking this thing's going for like a rock move. And just go into an Ice Shard. Because Ice Shard should be able to kill this thing. Stab. We are fully invested in attack. I'm going to go with Ice Shard here. I'm going to predict the Malwak actually coming after my Arcanine. So we're going to do it this way. We are going to do it this way. He's going to go for a Shadow Sneak, which is fine. He's going to take off my Focus Ash. He's going to take off my Focus Ash. That's a little tough. Ice Shard's going to poke. Can this KO? I think it can. Right? Yes, sorry, y'all. Manny the Mammoth coming in the back end. Doing some work. Doing some work. Malwak is going to go for an EQ, and that's a little tough. That's a little tough, because that might KO my Mammoth one. I'm hoping we can soak up this shot. Come on, Mammo. You're bulky, dude. Mammo, I love you, dude. Mammo, I love you. Twisted Dimensions are back to normal, so we have speed. We wasted out this Trick Room. And I said in the beginning, I was like, yo, this seems tough with Trick Room, but hopefully we can work around it. And that is exactly what we're doing. We are working around it. And something that works really well in Trick Room is Pokemon with first turn priority moves, like Mammo Swine. If we, don't, if we did not have Mammo Swine, we we're probably going to lose this match. We were definitely going to lose this match as a whole. We do have a Hydro Pump in the back end, but I cannot rely on that. So in this case, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Is that thing special attacking? No, that thing's physical attacking. Uh, hmm. I'm going to just double down into Malwak here. But you know what? Hmm. I was just going to drop an EQ, but we could go for an Iso Crash. We should have speed, right? We should definitely outspeed these things. I'm going to go for a KO on, on this thing. We do have a Shuka Berry on our Empoleon, which is great. We're going to go for his Icicle Crash, which connects, yo. Mamoswine doing some work here. Let's see what he does from here. Mamoswine, oh, bring that thing down the red. Bring that thing down the red. Luckily, we are doubling down into that thing, so Malwak is gone. And I can see him dropping an EQ or just taking out my Mamoswine. Let's see. Let's see. We still have Empoleon in the back. He's going to go straight for an Earth Power, and that's not even going to take out my Arcanine, you know? So we are thriving here. Oh, my God. It brings me down the red. Brings me down the red. Poor guy. Poor guy. So, yo, and Poyon not even going to come in this first battle. Unless so I swap into, uh, he's going to go for EQs. He's going to go for EQs. I kind of want to swap in Empoleon just to disrespect. What should I do here? What should I do here? Because if he goes for an EQ, we could, def we could definitely eat it up. I mean, can we even KO this thing? You know, let's keep in our Pokemon. Let's keep in our Pokemon. Do we go for a Flamethrower or a Snarl? I mean, that was special attack in Earth Power. So, you know what? Let's Snarl that thing up. I could go for an EQ. Could go for an EQ for big damage, but you know, Icicle Crash is gonna poke out here. Let's do it. Because we know he's going for EQs. We know he's going for EQs here. He'll be able to drop this thing, get off some nice Well, oh, that's some big old damage. That's some big old damage. And Snarl's gonna pop out here, but camera up avoids it. This thing goes for a straight flamethrower, and it's all good. It's all good. That thing takes me out. I'm just gonna protect my Arcanine, and I'm just gonna roll into a what's it called? I'm just gonna roll into a hydro pump. A lovely little hydro pump. I wonder who's faster, actually. Is Arcanine faster than this Empoleon? I actually want to see their speeds. I, I'd rather not protect uh, Arcanine, but I kind of want to just so Empoleon can get the final shot on him. But we finally throw out our Empoleon, getting to show him off here in battle number one. And I want to see the speeds. I want to see how the speeds go for these people. Let's check the summaries. Arcanine is at 144, and Empoleon's a lot slower. Arcanine's really fast, but I don't think Arcanine's going to be able to KO. So in this case, I'm just going to Flamethrower into... Actually, no. We're going to Snarl into him. And, you know, we're going to go for his Hydro Pump. We're going to try to land this lovely little Hydro Pump. Hopefully we can. We know he's faster than camera. Up. Snarl's going to poke out here, drop a special attack, but not kill it. And Empoleon land in the Hydro Pump for the win. Show it to me, baby. All day. All day, Empoleon. Hydro Pump comes out here. There it is, yo. Empoleon comes in the back end, picks up the final KO, and we start off today's video 1-0. What a first battle. Dude got set up with Trick Room. Mamoswine came out there with first turn priority moves, clutched it up for us, put us back in control, and then Empoleon came in the back end to grab ourselves that win. Second battle coming at you guys, and I'm pretty sure we know exactly what four Pokemon this guy is using. He's got the Blastoise, he's got the Toxic Croak, he's got the Drift Bloom, and then he has the Electrifier. But I think we should go into Heracross and Latios. He definitely should have just threw in like two more random Pokemon on his squad. Just so like, you know, he can fill out the six, but it is what it is. We're going to go in with the Heracross and the Latios lead alongside with Empoleon. I think Empoleon can be solid. And then finally, the last Pokemon on the squad. I'm thinking we're just going to go Mamoswine. Mamoswine's going to be super effective to the uh, Electivire. He's going to also be super effective to the Drift Blim. It just works really well. It just works really well. Right? I like this call. I like this call. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in, yo. Hit done. Lock in our four. And look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But that last battle was really solid. I'm actually really glad we actually went up against the Trick Room team and showed how to kind of play it with it. But yeah, we're definitely, you're definitely going to want Mamoswine if you're using a team similar to this up against Trick Room. He's going to go in with these two. And we can definitely just protect... We can honestly just protect and set up a Tailwind and then have Guts Trigger and kind of go out from there. I kind of really like that. So, you know what? We're going to protect here. 
and go into a nice lovely tower. And then I could just psychic down and pretty much finish off this battle. This battle's looking pretty easy for us. This battle is looking pretty easy for us. Hopefully he wastes a turn by going into my Heracross. We'll see what he does. Tailwind is going to set up and we are sitting in the driver's seat, baby. All day. All day. This thing goes for a sword seat. That's looking a little scary. We're going to hope this thing's not Sash. We're going to hope that this thing ain't Sash. We're not dealing with that thing. We're not dealing with that thing. He sword dance and he rain dances. Okay. Okay, so he has a nice little setup here. I really do like this setup here. He's going to change up the weather. Weather's going to go in his favor. And it's starting to rain, yo. Guts is going to trigger here, which is great for us. And now we get rocking out here. Now we get rocking out. We definitely have speed. I could close combat, which I think is exactly what we're going to do. I think we're just going to close combat and just drop a psychic. This could be potentially a double kill if he does not have Sash. So I really like where we're sitting here. And of course, he has Sucker Punch. He's going to take out my Latios. Oh, my Lord. This thing's rocking with Sucker Punch, yo. This thing's rocking with Sucker Punch. That's looking tough. Close Comet's going to poke here. We're going to do some big damage on the Blast Lights, but not take it out. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. That's looking scary. Special Defense is going to drop. This thing really has Sucker Punch. Water Spout's going to poke. We should be able to eat this, though. Yeah, we eat it up all day. So we have speed, but yo, Sucker Punch. I'm not liking Sucker Punch. I'm not liking Sucker Punch. <laughs> I'm not liking that. <laughs> not one bit. Not one bit, yo. Sucker Punch is scaring me. Sucker Punch is definitely scaring me. Okay. Who should we go into this one? Um, I'm thinking he's going to come after my Heracross, yo. He knows Heracross is doing a lot of damage. We could go into Empoleon. I actually might go into Empoleon. I kind of like Empoleon here. Or we could go into Mamoswine and protect and go for an EQ. I really do like that. I really do like that. We have the Sash. Blastoids is really bulky, eating up a close combat from Heracross like that. I'm just going to protect you, and I think just think it's going to be a free EQ time. It's going to be super effective up against that Swords Dance Pokemon. And I think we should maybe be able to take out Blastoids. We'll see how this one plays out here. And then if not, we have Ice Shard to pretty much finish off that Toxic Hurricane. It doesn't finish that off. But that comes out here. He does not go for a Sucker Punch, which I really did think he was going to do. We're going to drop a nice little EQ. How much damage are we doing? Yo, Mamo Swine is just clutching. This thing is Sash, so we're going to have to Ice Shard that next turn. And we're going to be thriving here. I really do like where we're sitting, yo. Mamo Swine is an absolute beast. He's an absolute unit. He's an absolute unit. He goes for that cross chop, which is going to trigger our focus dash 100%. 100%. And then we just go for this ice shard, which I really, really like. I really like this. Dry skin's going to come out here. He's going to get a little bit of HP back and soak it up. But yo, Toxic Croak's doing some work. That thing's doing some work. We still have Tailwind up, so our first turn priority move will outspeed his, which is great, which is just huge. And then hopefully Heracross can get off another close combat. We're Megaphone onto this Pokemon. It's going to be Drifflin, so it's going to have to be our lovely little Megaphone. Because we can't facade it, it's Ghost. We cannot hit it with a fighting move. We cannot do that. But Megahorn is going to be our only option because it's not very fun. Ice Shard's going to poke, and we're just going to go ahead after this thing. Because we have to get rid of this thing. And Poyon can do some work in the back end. He has Ice Beam. He has Flash Cannon. I really do like this. I really do like where we're sitting. Ice Shard pokes. Y'all yeet. Get that thing out of my game, y'all. I'm not dealing with the Swords Dance Toxic Shard. Not dealing with that thing. That thing hits like a truck. I was not expected to have Sucker Punch. Megaphone's going to come out here. Not going to do too much damage. Well, actually, that did a lot more than I thought it would for not very effective move. And he's just going to come, come over here and strength set. He's going to strength set me and drop my attack. Son of a gun. You son of a gun. My defense is already down. I think we're kind of fine. Do we have a turn left in Tailwind? If we do, yo. Which I don't think we do, though. But if we do. If we do. Yeah, our Tailwind's gone. Our Tailwind is gone. Do we still go? What do we do here? Do we still go for an Icicle Crash? Because Mammoth Swine's pretty fast. He's going to send out his final Pokemon, which is going to be this Electivire. And I could just protect an EQ. I could just protect an EQ. Which might have to be my play. I could double down into him. But I think protect EQ might be our play here. Hmm, or do we just Ice Shard? Like, he's probably faster than me, right? He's probably faster than me. So you know what? I am going to go for a... Uh, I am going to go for a close combat. I am going to go for a close combat on this thing. And I am just going to go for... I'm going to go for this Ice Shard. We got to get off as much damage as we can over onto this, uh, this Drift one right here. So Ice Shard is going to poke here. We do not have Tailwind anymore. That's going to be some big damage. Can you survive one more turn, Mammoth Swine, please? Close combat. Out speeds. And that's going... Oh my lord, yo. Heracross. Even minus one with that Guts. Finishing off Electivire. That is perfect. That is perfect. That pretty much solidifies the battle there. We were in a tough situation there. We were in a tough situation. He's going to drop a Psychic. That is 100% going to take me out here. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We bring in our Empoleon in the back end. And that's going to be GG's. I could Ice Shard, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're going to hit this thing up with an Ice Beam. We are going to hit up this Pokemon with an Ice Beam. Gotta love it, yo. Gotta love, yo. 
the Mammoth Swine clutching up, the Heracross, even minus one doing some work. We couldn't take out that Blastoids, which I was kind of sad about because that thing is real beefy. But, yo, Electivire, even when we're minus one with that Guts, yo, close combat's doing too much damage. It's doing too much damage. We're going to drop an Ice Beam here. I'm just going to protect my Mammoth Swine. And it's GG. It's GG's. Obviously, I could have just went into an Ice Shard, but, you know, we want that last shot with our Empoleon. But next battle, we definitely have to get Empoleon out here a little bit more and showcase him a bit more. It just works so well. He's just so good. But I like him as a back-end Pokemon. I really do. But Ice Cream's going to fly here. That's going to be GG's. He tried getting HP back on my Mammoth Swine. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Emperor Penguin comes in here, gets the final kill yet again. We start off 2-0. Let's try to grab ourselves a perfect record with Empoleon. Hopping into our third and final battle here, looking for that perfect record for today's video, and we have our work cut out for ourselves today. This guy has a very strong team, got the guard chomp, got the guard for hit on top for fake out and intimidate, then he also has the scissor, and then the polytoad, and ludicolo swift swim combo. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I think we definitely need tailwind here, so I think Latios is going to be a great lead. We have to watch out for that fake out, and if he leaves the hit on top, we can kind of just protect it and get after the battle that way. I could go Arcanine, who can work really well, but I kind of don't want him to go into Ludicolo. Ludicolo could definitely be scary. Could definitely be scary, Ludicolo combo. So I might want to lead Empoleon alongside with this. Empoleon alongside with this could be really good, or we could just go Arcanine until we get off that Tailwind. But then it just the water does this so dirty. The water does this so dirty. I could go Tokus for a nice little support here. Maybe put a Pokemon to sleep. Could definitely work out good. I definitely want Empoleon in the back end because we got that water, which can work well if he sets the rain. And we can take out Garchomp really well, especially because we have the Shuki Berry so we can eat up an EQ. Um, kind of want Heracross. Heracross could be a lot of fun, but should we get Toki Wogi? I, I just think Arcanine is super good and we need Arcanine. But kind of want to lead this Arcanine and then go into Empoleon and Heracross. It'll be really good. Actually, let's not. Oh, uh, no, I really want Arcanine though. I really do want Arcanine. Let's do it. Let's do what I just said. Heracross alongside with Empoleon. Let's do it. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But I really want this win. I really want this win. We, we got to show off Empoleon just a little bit in the first two battles. Just brought him in the back end and kind of rolled out from there. But I want to showcase him just a bit more in this battle right here. Just a bit more. He's going to go in with uh, Gardevoir alongside with Ludicolo. So I can definitely see the swap. I can definitely see the swap. So do I want to go into maybe a protect or a hard swap onto my i could hard swap my arcanine here or i can just go straight into a tailwind what's the play here i kind of want to just hard swap arcanine i mean i could protect them but i think hard swap is going to be the play because a water move probably is going to come out here so bringing out our empoleon at this time could be really good could be really good for us could be really good for us because we cover a lot we do cover a lot we have flash cannon for that garvor we can hit up a water move in a little bit fake out's going to poke here and that's great that he's going to go after empoleon here that is great. I was just going to protect him, but Tailwind is going to set up perfectly here. We're going to be able to get off a lovely little Tailwind. Actually, he's moon blasting me. Can you soak this up? Yep, you do. I love you, Latios. Latios, you're a beast. You are a beast. And I'm surprised that Gardevoir outspeeds me. I think choice. Could be choice. But now we have Tailwind set up, and I'm liking where we're sitting here. I can drop a nice big old Psychic onto this thing. And more importantly, get off this Flash Cannon right into this Gardevoir slot. Liking this. I'm liking this, yo. Tailwind's out and about. I think might be choice. I'm thinking that thing is Choice Scarf, considering it's outspeeding me like that. That thing is cooking. That thing is cooking. It's outspeeding my Latios like that. Hit me with a Moonblast. Luckily, we were able to eat that up. Soaked it up. Lived on four, which is great. And more importantly, got out our Tailwind. He's going to Witcher Ludicol. And who's he going to go into here? Who is he going to go into here? He's going to bring out Scissor. Scissor's going to poke through here. I'm totally fine with that. And a Psychic is going to poke here. Get off some damage on this Pokemon. And our Life Orb is actually going to take us out. Our Life Orb is going to take us out. But hopefully... This Empoleon can just finish off this Gardevoir here. It's going to be stab. It's going to be super effective. We are fully invested in special attack EVs. So we're looking forward to Splash Cannon to pick up some KOs. My main main. Oh, no. Empoleon, you got to do more than that. You got to do more than that. More than that. This thing is definitely choice. He's going into another Moonblast. That's easy eats for mine. We soaked that up. That thing can go for a Bullet Punch. But we have speed all day. We have speed all day. And this is where I bring out Arcanine. And this is where I bring out Arcanine here. This is where I bring out Arcanine, and I think he swaps, right? Did we say he swaps? He's got to have the rain combo in the back. I think he's going to swap here and keep his scissor. I really do think he swaps and keeps his scissor. We still have the Heracross, which is pretty solid. We really like having his Heracross here, and I think I'm just going to Snarl here. I think he swaps his scissor, right? I think he swaps his scissor or protects it. So I'm just going to Snarl. He's going to withdraw the scissor. Perfect. Hopefully he goes back into a special attacker. That's why we Snarled. He's going to swap into who? Polytoad. Special attacker. That's cool. So we know his back end two Pokemon is going to be Rain Squad. 
gonna be rain squad we have heracross in the back which i mean it could be better here could be better in this situation but snarl's gonna poke here and i'm actually hoping this takes out that gardevoir it does not it does not take out gardevoir but more importantly we get that nice lovely special attack drop on the polytoad and i think we'll have one more turn left in tailwind so we might be able to get off a of snarl we might get be able to get off another snarl which could be huge which could be huge just getting special attack drops on these pokemon Ludicolo is definitely scaring me. It's a tough Pokemon to deal with. Definitely a tough Pokemon to deal with. Arcanine can probably eat up a, a minus one Scald from Politoed, but not Ludicolo. I mean, this thing, this thing does have Fake Out ready to roll. So I could double protect here. Who do we think he's going to Fake Out, though? I think he definitely has to come after my Arcanine, right? I'm going to go for an Ice Beam over on you. Get off some damage on you. I'm with that all day. Arcanine's going to protect. Show me the Fake Out's going on the Arcanine slot. It's got to be going on the Arcanine slot, right? Fake out. No, it goes on my Empoleon slot. Are you going for a Scald in my Arcanine? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, you little booger? We flinch. He goes for a Hydro Pump. We block it. Okay, cool. We have one more turn left in Tailwind, or are we gone? It's gone. The Swift Swim is ready to rock. Swift Swim is ready to rock. We're definitely going to go for a Snarl here, and I kind of want to go for a Hydro Pump. I kind of just want to go for a Hydro Pump. I mean, it's a stab. It's going to be in the rain. I think get a nice boost of damage here. Energy Ball is going to poke, which we should be able to soak up. Good work, Empoleon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And is Snarl going to be able to come out here? Snarl's going to be able to come out. That's huge. That is huge before he Hydro Pumps into me. That is huge before he Hydro Pumps into me. Hopefully he can miss this one. If he can miss this, this could be big. We're going to go for our Hydro Pump. Get off some damage onto this Ludicolo. And Polyon doing some work, baby. All day. Look at that. That's some good damage. That's some good damage for Hydro Pump. Loving it. And Hydro Pump's going to poke. And can we eat that? He's minus two. I get it's in the rain. It's super effective. Let's see. Nope, we do not eat. The thing just dumps on me. It's a crit. That's why. What you mean you get a crit? What you mean you get a crit? Get out of my face. Not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. We have Heracross here. Um, what's our play with Heracross? I mean, rain is just a problem. Rain is just a problem. Who does Ludi Cole go after? Who do, we know we outspeed with Empoleon, so I'm thinking we just protect with you. I'm thinking we just protect with you, and we hope. And we hope. That this Ludi Cole actually goes after Heracross with like an Ice Beam or something. Wait, yo, you have six? You have six Pokemon? Bro, you have six Pokemon? Did I just realize that? Or does he have more than that? Does he have more than that? Oh, wait a minute. No, he, already, he always had that scissor. He always had that scissor. He always had that scissor. That's rough. That's rough news. He always had that scissor. He always had that skizzy. Never mind, yo. We are in a battle for the ages here. We're gonna go for combat here. Try to finish off you. And I'm just gonna protect you because I think that the uh the scissor going for a bull punch in that Polyon. I just totally forgot about the scissor. I was gonna say this guy is six Pokemon. He goes for that bull punch. I need you to eat up your Heracross. But he's swapping for the rain here. I just gonna connect, and that's probably actually he's minus one. Can you eat that? All day, Heracross. All day, Heracross. Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. Close combat's gonna poke. Yo. And we're gonna take you out. So we sitting in this battle. We're sitting pretty close in this battle. I totally forgot about the scissor here. Our defense is going to drop, so we cannot take another hit. Um, mm, hopefully rain doesn't end and he doesn't rebring it. He does. That's tough, man. I was kind of just trying to waste out this rain because we would have had speed here. We would have had speed thriving, and we could have won this battle. Oh man, yo! But at least we got to show off employee on here. At least we got the show off and pulling on here. The power of rain doing us dirty. And we're going to end up losing this one. And go with 2-1 for today's video. Which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. Is not too bad. Uh, what do we think he goes for here? He's got to go after Empoleon, right? He's got to go after Empoleon, right? Do I protect my Empoleon? I mean, we protect them last turn. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. Dang, Ludicolo, man. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hope this thing maybe misses or something. We need a miss. Not looking good for us. He's gonna go for an energy bolt. Empoleon's gone. Poor Empoleon. Heracross outspeeds. We know that. So we need this thing to miss maybe a hydro pump. It could definitely miss a hydro pump. And 100% miss a hydro pump. Definitely doable. He got a crit, so he's due for a miss here. He is due for a miss. Let's see. Miss his hydro pump, baby. Miss it. Oh, he has Scald, dude. He's rocking with Scald. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's, but solid third battle. That was actually a really good battle. Totally forgot about that scissor in the back end. Crit definitely did him good because I think my Arcanine was going to be able to eat up that shot. But hey, solid battles for today. Two and one. Grab yourselves a winning.
Awesome set of battles for today's video. Went 2-1 and, and grabbed ourselves a winning record. We got to use Empoleon and Heracross, which were my two main focuses for this team right here. Two off-meta Pokemon, trying to showcase them and have some fun with it. Empoleon was really, really good. Came in the back end, got a few KOs, and was doing some big damage in that third and final battle. Heracross is great all around. We got to showcase him to its fullest power. Getting that Guts trigger, hitting Pokemon with close combats, doing big damage left and right. And then this rest of the team pretty much just fits all the needs that we need. We got the Tailwind with the Latios, we got the support with the Arcanine Togus, and Mamma Swine is just a great first turn priority attacker for that back end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.